with violence around the corner, it's time to take a look at the gear we'll be looking to acquire with the new raid here, along with what gear sets we ought to use during progression. Now, let me shoot myself in the foot a little bit here, because frankly, I think that this list as a bloody K are kind of useless. Why is that? Well, you see, we can absolutely create a biz list with the items that will make you either deal the most damage possible, or make you the most beefy death knight you could possibly be. But here's the thing, if full damage and full beef are on opposite sides of the spectrum, where you should be, especially during progression, will be somewhere in between these two extremes. So, as such, your specific needs will depend on your rating environment. With that said, I've created a set that will net you the most damage possible, two sets that aims to be a bit more balanced between tankiness and damage throughput, along with two sets to use during progression. I'll have even more sets available once the Wowhead guide gets published, so if you're watching this sometime after the video is released, have a look in the description where I will link the gear sets which I have made and published there. But with that out of the way, here is your best in slot guide to Firelands. Let's take a quick minute to talk about stats. If you asked four Death Knights what the best stat is, they would all give you different answers and they would all be correct. Without getting too technical, your stat priority will basically depend on your playstyle. On screen right now, you'll have the stat priority for full offense, a balanced approach, and full defensive approach. Violence bosses do not hit particularly hard, so I would never recommend playing full defense in this tier unless it's for a very specific purpose, like solo tanking the burst on the list resort. On Taman specifically, the incoming damage profile is extremely forgiving and you will most likely want to skew more heavily into damage even during progression. Alright, now let's go over some gear sets and make suggestions for alternatives wherever applicable. Let's start out with the full DPS set, which is obviously going to be the most fun. For the most damage possible, we'll be looking to skip the tank tier altogether and pick up the 2 set bonus from the DPS tier, which gives us passive runic power regeneration. This set I have outlined here uses 3 tier pieces, as the gear pieces are extremely well started for us as bloody case. However, the 5 piece DPS set is technically our ultimate best in slot. But since the gain from the tier pieces over the off pieces is so low, we should never take the last 2 tokens over literally anyone else who needs bank tokens, especially since the 4 set bonus does literally nothing for us. Obviously, we'd like to pick up Sulfurus, but as it will be heavily contested, you may have to settle for one of the other options. Soid's Fiery Greatsword will be your second best option, even as an orc, due to being more offensively statted and having one extra socket with no stat deduction to compensate. The axe will do just fine if your loot council is corrupt. Most off pieces are as to be expected, with the cloak and the belt bis being the item level 378 option due to the lack of other alternatives. The uncrushable belt of fury just randomly has a ton less strength on it than it should for the item level, but will of course be a solid option until you feel comfortable dropping a bunch of mastery. For our trinkets, would ideally like to have Heart of Rage and Vessel of Acceleration. There are three other trinket alternatives we can go for, with the Agility Trinket from Rack technically being our best alternative as long as we have Crit as our highest secondary stat. But don't take this trinket unless literally no one else needs it. More realistically, you will still be using Crushing Weight. Apparatus of Kaskaroth is fine, but it's slightly worse than Crushing Weight as the on-use effect realistically never lines up with Dancing Weapon, and is thus a bit of a bait. I'm rocking stamina gems in all of my sets as I'm ready on 25 man, but if you want to squeeze out a bit more damage out of the set, it's of course possible to swap over from stamina gemming to strength gemming, but don't tell anyone that I told you that. Link to the set is down below. Now if you're not looking to go just full damage mode, but still want to do some decent numbers while perhaps being a little bit more defensive than you need to, then this set is for you. We still pick up the DPS 2 set while opting to add the heroic rack shoulders to our set. We swap over to more mastery heavy options on bracers, neck and belt while rocking one stamina trinket. After testing on the beta, a set like this would be most suited for someone rating 25 man, as the damage profile on tab man is not high enough to ever justify a set this beefy. Scales of life is the only tank trinket in this new tier worth considering, and if you're unable to pick it up, symbiotic worm will tide you over just fine. Most people should probably opt to have double DPS trinkets at this stage in their gearing, however, so refer back to the previous set for pointers when it comes to offensive trinkets. 
I personally think the strength meta gem will still be the play in even a slightly more defensive set, as it's pretty big DPS increase for a very small defensive loss. Link to the set is down below. Now, our last set is basically a direct copy of the previous set where we simply swap our gloves and shoulders to the tank tier option in order to run the two set, two set solution. I personally don't think it's a good idea to run this set for a few reasons. One, the set bonus just isn't that good. The bonus adds a debuff which makes the target behave as though it has diseases up and deals about 400 DPS. This bonus was made because back in original Firelands, DKs had a 1 minute cooldown on Outbreak which meant a lot of downtime in the debuffs unless they reapplied with Icy Touch and Plague Strike. But with current 30 second cooldown on Outbreak, this bonus serves pretty much no value. On fights where you have frequent target swamps but can't spread your debuffs with Pestilence, it has some decent value. But there are no fights in Firelands where this gives more than a marginal gain. 2. Tank tier is just terribly statted. For some reason, Blizzard decided that tank tier should just inherently have a ton less strength while giving no bonus stamina. Simply the stack gain from the DPS tier or off pieces will give you more value than the tier bonus of the 2 set would. 3. You'd be taking away 1 to 2 extra bank tokens from someone who could have put them to use. It can be a bit of a DPS upgrade from the previous balance build, so if you don't have any competition on bank tokens, feel free to pick it up. Now for the equally important part our pre firelands biz set. Like I mentioned earlier, with the current tuning we've seen on the PTR, bosses do not hit that hard and you can certainly get away with gearing more offensively. That being said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with giving yourself some margin of error to allow yourself to play sub optimally and to not rely on your healers bringing their A game. This first set is more of a balance set and is something that I'll be looking to run during progression in a 25 minute heroic environment. We still run with the DPS 4 set, but skew more heavily into haste and mastery and put expertise past soft cap and crit on the back burner for the time being. I'll most likely be looking to run one stamina trinket during week 1, but that's not really necessary, especially if you're raiding a 10 mana environment where your damage as a tank is more important. It's worth bringing a mirror or broken images to your raid as well, as it can be quite useful on Bale Rock on 25 man. I would not recommend using it in Tamman, as Infernal Blade does not hit hard enough to break through AMS on Tamman. This set clocks in at around 90% mastery while primarily focusing on haste and only does a couple of thousand DPS less than a full parset would while still being decently tanky. Lastly, we have a full beef set. I personally don't think running a set like this is ever a good idea unless you have a very specific reason for doing so, like solo tanking parts of encounters that are meant for two tanks. I want to include this set as I know not everyone likes to pursue the game the way that I do, and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Just keep in mind that you'll not be as useful to the raid as you could be, especially in a Taman environment. Link to both of the sets are down below. Ultimately, like I mentioned at the start, how you gear is going to come down to where on the spectrum you feel comfortable. But feel free to mix and match items from these sets to land on something that you and your raid is comfortable with. Good luck with loot in Firelands. Feel free to come over and catch me while I'm live on Twitch. I'll be streaming the crap out of Firelands once that comes out, so make sure to follow for that. I also recently created a Riani Discord where I give out resources and engage in tanking discussions, but mostly it's just food pictures. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.